हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड इवनिंग मै सेल डॉक्टर एम एच अन्नय्या एंड इन दिस वीडियो विच इज नंबर फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन एज एन टूडे वी हैव गॉट टू सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन ए स्ट्राइट लाइन एंड द क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे वीडियो रीड्स एज दिस ए लाइन ए बी नाइंटी मिलीमीटर लॉन्ग दट मीन दे इज ए लाइन whose true length is 90 mm and is inclined at 30 degrees to hp and 45 degrees to vp so the inclination of the line to both hp and vp are given in this question the end a is on hp there are two ends for the line ab one is a that end is on hp and the end b is on vp the other end of the line b is on vp draw the projections of the line and let us see later on what are the parameters that have to be calculated friends let us commence the question by drawing an xy line which represents the line of intersection of vp and the hp so that is represented by xy it is also sometimes called as a reference line and we mark vp by hp above and below the xy line to represent the first angle projection if it were third angle projection we would have mentioned this as hp by vp hp above the line and vp below the line now friends in this question they have given the true length of the line true length is represented by tl that is given for the line as a dash b1 dash which is also equal to a b1 and that is given to be 90 mm so true length of the line is given the inclination of the line is also given that is the inclination theta with the hp is 30 degree and phi the angle made by the line with the vertical plane is 45 degree and along with that they have given us the end a is on hp if we take this as the reference line since the point a is on hp its spread b is always obtained on xy as a dash and top b will be somewhere along this line through the point a dash and similarly friends the line b or the end b of the line is on vp so whenever the end is on vp this becomes b dash and we get this b on the xy line this line whatever i am writing is the xy line so friends we have drawn or we have shown all the data given in the question so let us commence this problem by marking the location of one of the ends of the line friends in this question for a change i am going to start the projection of the line from this end b so friends what i do at random i take some point i call this point as b1 and through that line point i draw a line which is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees that is phi is equal to 45 and obtain this point as a friends this is the true length of the line tl that is equal to 90 mm that is to say friends we have to draw a line draw a line ab1 of length is equal to 90 mm at an angle of 45 degrees to the vertical plane friends now i can draw a vertical line through this point a and say or call this point as a dash so a dash represents the print view of the point a since the point a is on hp its print view is always obtained on the xy line that is whenever a point lies on hp its print view is always obtained on xy so we have got the print view on top view of one of the ends a of the line friends the line is inclined at 30 degrees to hp so we have one point i can draw a line here at an angle of how much that is 30 degrees theta equal to 30 degrees to hp 
and this also measures 90 millimeter. So I can just take a line whose true length is 90 mm and mark this end. This is A dash, this is going to be B1 dash because A dash B1 dash represents the true length. Likewise, A B1 also represents the true length. Friends, I hope we have utilized all the data given in the question. With this information available to us, we should be in a position to obtain the parameters asked in the question. What are they asked? Let's have a look at it. They are asking us to find out distance of A from VP. Distance of the end A from VP. Distance of any point from VP is seen below the XY line from the XY. So friends, I can just measure this and say the distance of B from VP. Distance of, sorry, not B, it's A. Distance of A from VP. You can just keep a scale between these two and obtain this. Friends, distance of B from HP. The locus of B is here. So this will give you distance of E and B from HP. Distance above the XY line is distance from HP. Distance below the XY line is a distance from VP. So we have got both of these. Friends, now we have to find out distance between the end projectors. So to obtain the distance between the projectors, we need to have A dash A and B dash B. So we got A dash A and with this data, I should be able to get one more end projector by name B dash B, which is going to be parallel to A dash A. Friends, how to obtain that? Friends, we have this A dash, taking A dash as center, distance A dash B1 as the radius. I am going to strike an arc. I will repeat, taking A dash as center, A dash B1 length as radius. I have drawn an arc. And this arc friend is cutting the locus of B. This is the locus of A and B at point called B dash. Remember friends, on the projection of lines, B dash and B1 dash will lie. And on this locus of this end, A, A and B1 will lie. So friends, if I am joining this A dash and B dash, I am going to get print view because the line A dash B dash represents the print view. Finally friends, we should be able to get what is B, the top view of the end B. Friends remember, whenever a point is on VP, its top view is always obtained on XY, irrespective of its distance from XY, wherever it may be here or here or here, anywhere it is. So friends, we have this B dash, draw a vertical line from there, that we intersect this locus of B here, join this point B with point A to get AB and this AB will represent the top view of the line. Friends, we have completed the complete projection of the line and remember friends, in any of the problems on lines, there are going to be totally four lines only. That is two true lens lines, A dash, B1 dash, A, B1. They are the true lens lines. A dash, B dash, the front view. Third line, A, B is the top view. That is the fourth lens. So only four lines you are going to have. Finally, friends, now we have this A dash A, one of the end projector. B dash B is another end projector. And we are required to find out distance between end projectors which we represent as DEP. So I'll write a line through this EA, another line through this B dash B here. The distance between these two is called as DEP. DEP means distance between end projectors and that can be measured after completion of the projection of the line. Friends, 
I hope the presentation was interesting. If you like this video, do share the information of my video and my YouTube channel link with all your friends without fail. And in case you have not subscribed to my channel till now, please do it today itself. And I take this opportunity to thank you for watching my YouTube video. Have a wonderful day.